Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Stone again, and we're continuing our PowerPoint on the skills of science. In this particular section, we're going to talk about inference. Before we begin, let's do a short review of what we've learned so far. What is observing? In class, we learned that observing is using one or more of your senses sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch to gather information about the world around you. We learned that there are two types of observing, quantitative, which has to do with numbers and the amount we have of something, and qualitative, which describes what we're looking at hearing, seeing, smelling, or touching. Question. Why do things happen the way that they do? Why is the world the way it is? Questions like this can be answered by making inferences. So we need to find out what is an inference or what does it mean to infer? Inferring is explaining or interpreting what you observe. It is not guessing. It's based on reasoning, based on what we already know. So, we're using prior knowledge in order to answer a question. What do we know? Let's first talk about the difference between observing and inferring. As you know, you use your senses in order to describe an object, and that is observing. Inferring would involve determining what it is exactly that your senses happen to see or happen to experience. We watched a video before, video clip before, of various animals doing different things. We're going to watch the beginning of this video again and watch the horses. What are the horses doing? How are they moving? Why are they moving across the beach that way? Is that a beach? Is that a lake? Or is that an ocean behind them? Why do you think they are moving away as opposed to towards the camera? Who is you holding the camera? Where is the camera? Is it the fact that someone is following them that has caused them to run away? Let's look at it again. Those questions that you ask in order to figure out what is going on are called inferences. You are thinking about things that you've seen before, done before, and you recognize to try to answer what's going on in the picture. I showed you the, this picture in class. And we tried to determine what was going on. First we observed just to see what we were looking at. And then we tried to determine what was going on. So, we observed that we have clouds. And people said that the clouds were dark. We also observed that the clouds had a very strange curved shape. So, we observed dark clouds in the sky and that some noted the curved shape. What we inferred was that these were probably storm clouds. And some thought that this was a tornado. If you recall, I told you that these were in fact storm clouds, but they weren't a tornado. What this is is the leftover storm clouds from Hurricane 
Isaac as it moved through northwest Indiana. The curved shape is formed from the way that hurricanes spin in the air. And so we wouldn't see these sorts of clouds all the time. We would see clouds like this only if the leftover storm clouds from a hurricane moved into our area. And so that's what we were looking at. This is the end of this section on inference. If you need to watch it again, please feel free to do so. Next, we'll talk about prediction.